What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I just wanted to let you guys know right at the beginning here that we brought in the PS3 and the Vita stuff from our collection, and it's going to be getting put in the system today. So by the time you see this video, it will be up on the website. If you knew we had something, but you don't see it listed, then it's maybe one of like the four games that Abby kept. It could have already sold because we do have people that are have been checking the website every day. But we have this tub here, completely full. And then a couple big box ones there. Then we have all of these and that box down there. So there's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna work on this here in a little bit, but we pulled all the orders from, from our weekend and we have a ton of things to ship, which is pretty much all this back here. So uh, we're probably going to try to work on shipping a little bit first. Um, but yeah, today hopefully is a pretty good day. Our first sale of the day right when we opened was one of the Pokemon N64s, which was super awesome. I think he bought a couple other small things as well. So that's already a nice little sale to start the day off. So I'm sure today is going to be awesome. And then also someone, someone threw a newspaper on top of our sign that's on the front of the building. Um, it's like a brand new paper, like in its bag and everything. So it must have been dropped off at one of the the businesses here that gets the newspaper and someone just like grabbed it and threw it up there uh not sure how many times they had to try but um it's kind of funny so i guess i'll show you guys that right here but i'm gonna try to take it down welcome to the vlog i don't know if cooper started but i almost knocked over this entire pub yes i did start <gasps> hi kyle um what the okay do you know what happened to the chair there's a hole in it. No. Abby did it. Did you stab the chair? I I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I don't have anything sharp on <laughs> He's like, I don't have anything sharp. Okay. So it our wasn't friend, today. our friend um, Nathan sent us presents, and um, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, I was expecting one present, but I wasn't expecting two presents: one for Cooper and one for I, myself, me. Um, but anyways, we're gonna open it because Nathan said we can open it and I I'm a child and I cannot wait But I'm also really bad about like guessing what my present is. So I've already been like sitting back here like holding it And being like what is this and then I was like, I think this is a switch, but I don't know But it feels like it and then I took it out front and I was like does this feel like a switch Kyle and he's like yeah, and I was just like, does this feel like a switch? And I was like, never mind, give me my present back. Um, but I don't think so. Maybe it's just like a box full of rocks and socks or something. I don't know. But I'm going to open it because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait till Christmas. He said we didn't have to wait till Christmas. Yes, he also said that. Oh my god. I almost bought this because of Kyle. Um, he tagged me in a post last night. It's not the same one. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy. I had wanted this one so bad and I almost like overpaid for this. Hi Adam. You can come back here, it's okay. <gasps> <laughs> That's too expensive of a gift for a Nathan <laughs> to send to you. Well, I mean, I'll just send him, I don't know. We, I do, I do get him Atlas games, so maybe we'll just call it even on a few games or something, I don't know. I'll just have to send him a really cool Christmas present back. This is amazing though. <laughs> oh no, he yeah. doesn't have to buy the the one at another castle that was too much. That was like a hundred dollars over market value that I really wanted <laughs> and I almost bought two different times. Okay. <clears throat> Do you wanna open your present? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here. What is it, Cooper? It feels like a VHS or it sounds like a VHS. But I don't know why he would send me a VHS. Unless it was a really cool one. Not a VHS. Ma -da -da -da! 
We paid for this, right? Oh, I don't know. So, when Nathan came to visit, he he had this game, but no manual, and we had a manual for it. And he wanted to buy the manual, but I just wanted to buy his disc and case. And he's like, well, I'll, I'll get a complete one. When I get a complete one, I'll sell you the, the disc and the case. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Um, we had not agreed on a price yet, but... Or he just gave it to you. No. He... I don't accept it. <laughs> you have to but accept. I will accept this one. The Herbs, Sims in the City. One of the games we still needed. I took it off your list when Nathan told me about it. So what are we down to? I don't know. Well, thank you, Nathan. And I think we would be down to like... Five? Yeah, like five games left. Mm -hmm. Five games, Adam. For the full set. My present's better than yours. Ryan loves this game. <laughs> um, we don't have this game. We already have a Switch. Not that Switch. But such a freaking cool Switch. Oh my god. I'm so excited. What's up? Damn, this case is the tester. Um... <gasps> Thanks, Nathan. It's time to look at some trade-ins from today. So we have a PlayStation 5 controller. We also got a uh, Camo DualShock 3 PS3 controller. And then a Game Boy Advance AGS 101. So this is the one that has the better screen. It's the backlit screen, not the front lit. Ooh, shiny. And then, I think there were some consoles that came in as well, but we usually don't film those. And then I have these two stacks of games here that are in no particular order. We have Mario Pit Cross 2, Japanese import. And whatever that says. Another import. We have Pokemon Ultra Sun, Supreme Commander, Metal Gear Rising uh, Revengeance. We have the Toho Godzilla Collection. Uh, DVD set here. Got a bunch of movies on there. The Indiana Jones Complete Adventures Blu-ray set. Finding Dory. Bendy and the Ink Machine. Stuart Little 2. NCAA Final Four 97. NBA 2K21. Destiny 2. This one is Zuna, the Unemployed Ninja. Um, Abby actually bought this uh, from another game store in Oregon when she went to visit uh, Jackie and John. So it is complete. However, the cover art does appear to be slightly water damaged. So uh, it says on there, water damage. Then we have Smash Bros. Melee. We have Civilization VI and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There also was uh, a copy of Luigi's Mansion back here for Switch, but Adam just came and grabbed it. I don't know if someone bought it on the website or if somebody was asking for it, but it's not back here. We have a disc-only copy of Wind Waker for GameCube. We have a sealed Star Fox Guard and then a sealed Star Fox Zero for Wii U. We have Marvel Ultimate Alliance for the Switch. That one is water damaged. Um, you can kind of see it right there. And then we have Mario and uh, Bowser's Fury. We have Lego Chima, or Chima, uh, Laval's Journey. This is the big box version, but it says right there, no figure. And then the box obviously is crushed and has a rip, so it's basically just the, the game only. Um, it's not, not complete. We have Casino Royale Blu-ray sealed. My Girl DVD sealed. Madden 19 sealed. Destiny 2 sealed. Marvel Avengers sealed, and then Transformers, uh, the Japanese collection, Headmasters, there's a price, Middle Earth Shadow of War, and Sonic Colors Ultimate. So that's everything so far, and I'll show you guys if anything else comes in. I've been working on shipping, got a lot of stuff done, still have some more to do here, uh, but I got all these, um, and then that tub is completely done as well, and I have not started on this yet, but I'm planning to before we go home. Sorry, the resurfacer is going. It's probably super noisy, but I did want to show you guys these real quick. We got a Jungle Green N64 with a Magic Controller. It does have a GameCube stick in there, and it looks like a really weird one, but it is in there. And then we also have an expansion pack, and then Final Fight, and then Abby said we also got Final Fight 2, but that one is already on hold for someone.
All right, guys, we are closed now, but we have a package to open. Just me today, unfortunately. Um, Abby's in the back talking on the phone to her friend, and then, you know, the guys left earlier. Um, this package was actually here on Monday, and we never got around to opening it. And then when I got home, I was like, oh, dang, we never opened that package. <laughs> so we're going to open it now. Just got to cut all the tape. All right. And this stuff obviously will not be in the system just yet. Um, Abby and I have been staying late to try to get the, the PlayStation 3 and Vita stuff in that we brought from home. Um, all of the factory sealed stuff for sure will be in because uh, I already finished that. Abby's been working on the open stuff, but um, I don't think she's finished. So I don't know if all of it is going to be in there by the time you guys see this video, but we're trying. And, oh man, I don't know what's in this. It's really heavy. It's like a box in a box. So I'm trying to pull it out, but. Here it is. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, yeah. The rest of what's in the box down there is just pack. So now, I get to cut all this bubble wrap. And we have another box here. Oh, okay, I do, I do remember this. This is basically an NES collection. Um, I think, I guess I'll see if there's a note before I, before I tell you guys what he told me, because maybe he wrote it in there, I'm not sure but I'll let you guys know what he told me about this stuff if he didn't write it in his notes. Um, okay, so this is just a list of the games he wrote, what up peeps and thanks on there. And then, okay. So this is a collection of stuff that uh, he bought and he said that um, he basically bought this other guy's entire NES collection and he pulled out all the games that he was going to keep for his collection and then everything here are like either duplicates for him or just games he didn't want. So there's a ton of stuff. He made it extremely easy for me because he had everything, um, he had everything in like a spreadsheet with the price charting value and all that kind of stuff. and. It, it made it super, super easy. Um, so here we go. I'm just gonna pull them out. Looks like they're, they're not in any particular order. So we have Where's Waldo? Uh, Exodus Ultima, or Ultima Exodus. Uh, the Secret Scroll Flying Dragon. We don't get that game very often. Uh, the Last Ninja and Spy vs. Spy. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Quattro Adventure, and MTV Remote Control. Orb 3D, Othello, Pictionary, and Pinball. Uh, Muppet Adventure, Mystery Quest, Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, and Ninja Kid. Mighty Bomb Jack and Millipede, and Mission Impossible and Major League Baseball. That's the first little row. We have Mega Man 2 and 3, Metal Gear, and then two copies of Metroid, and MiG-29. Mad Max and The Moffat Conspiracy. Somebody in store was just asking for The Moffat Conspiracy and we don't ever get that game in. Um, so if you happen to be watching, <laughs> there we go. Uh, Mag Max, Maniac Mansion, and Mario Bros. Arcade. Some pretty awesome stuff in here. 
Little League Baseball and Load Runner. There's like a tow truck parked right out front. Um, that's why I keep looking over there because um, he's got his red lights flashing. He's not towing anyone or doing anything. I think he just like pulled into the parking lot to chill for a minute, but it's kind of distracting because I can see it flashing. Uh, moving on, we have Low G Man, Lunar Pool, and Mock Rider. And then we have Legacy of the Wizard and Legend of Cage. And then two copies of Zelda, the gold cart version. My phone is on 10% battery, so I better hurry. And Legends of the Diamond. We never get that game. Clash Ball, another game I don't think we've ever had in stock. I've seen it at other stores a few times. Clax. And then Knight Rider and Kung Fu Heroes. Thought I heard them talking, but I hear Abby talking. Uh, Karnov and Kickle Cubicle. Kid Icarus and King of Kings, The Early Years. Uh, Kings of the Beach and Kirby's Adventure. There's a good mix of stuff in here. It's not, you know, it's not just a bunch of sports games, obviously. This was someone's collection, so there, there's there been a couple duplicates, but there's not a ton. Uh, Joust, Karate Champ, and The Karate Kid. Jordan vs. Bird and John Elway's quarterback. Infiltrator and Jackal. Jaws and Jeopardy Junior Edition. Jeopardy and Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Edition. And the Jeopardy has a hole on the back of the cartridge right there. We have 10 Yard Fight and 1942. Kind of seems like maybe these were in alphabetical order. Uh, 3D World Runner and 720. A lot of these have these old price tags on the back too. Uh, vintage stock. And then eight eyes and a gray Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Afterburner. And then Air Fortress, Air Wolf, and Al Unser Jr. Turbo Racing. All Pro Basketball, Alpha Mission, Amagon, and Anticipation. Probably just do them in little stacks of four like that. Arch Rivals, Archon, Arkanoid, and Astian X. And then Athena and Balloon Fight. Barbie, Baseball, Baseball Stars, and Bases Loaded. Bases Loaded 2, Batman, Battle of Olympus, and Battle Tank. Uh, Battletoads, Double Dragon 2, Dragon's Lair, and Little Nemo Dream Master. Some uncommon ones in there. Dr. Mario, Excite Bike. Excite Bike has its manual. And then uh, Journey to the Promised Land, Exodus, and F15 City War. A couple unlicensed things in there. Family Feud, Fighting Golf, Intruder, and NES Play Action Football. And Freedom Force. Friday the 13th, Funhouse, Galaga, and George Foreman's KO Boxing. Looks like we have another manual here for Ghosts and Goblins. And then we have the Ghosts and Goblins game, Goal, Godzilla, and Gold Medal Challenge 92. For the most part, they look like they're in pretty good shape. Golgo 13, Gotcha, Gremlins 2, and The Guardian Legend. Almost at the end here. Gunsmoke, Gyromite, Heavy Shredden, and Hogan's Alley. Uh, 
And the last four, we have Hoops, The Hunt for Red October, Ice Climber, and The Immortal. So, shout out to Ryan for selling us these games. Not our Ryan, obviously. Uh, but that is everything that was in there. So, like I said, these are not going to be in the system by the time you guys see this video. I don't even know if we'll be able to get these in in the next couple days because we have a lot of stuff going on. Um, we've been getting pretty busy here in the store the closer it gets to Christmas, which, you know, that's definitely a good thing. Um, sales have picked up, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, it's just selling stuff from our collection in addition to the sales picking up anyway. Um, and then, you know, we had our Black Friday and our Cyber Monday sales and everything. So um, things are going pretty good. But even though I'm saying that, we are still really not trying to spend a ton of money. And that's because it just kind of seems like for the past year, every time we're like doing really good with money, we start buying a lot of stuff. And that's not good because <laughs> we'll get a bunch of money and then we'll drain all the money and then we have to be careful and try to build the funds back up. So we do have some stuff coming in the mail still. Um, we have an order of some factory sealed games coming in, including the brand new um, Fatal Frame games for PS4 and Nintendo Switch. We have a bunch of other Nintendo Switch games coming in as well. A couple restocks, but mostly games we have not had before. And a lot of like weird anime RPG style looking games. And some of them that I've never even heard of. So, um, yeah, there's going to be some cool stuff coming in. And uh, it's not a gigantic order. Most of the games we're getting, we're only getting like two copies of each. The Fatal Frame games, I think we're getting 10 of each. So 10 PS4 and 10 Switch. Um but yeah, I was thinking about possibly putting together like, like a big factory sealed game order, but the way that I want to do it is be like, I don't know, we tried to do like some pre-order stuff before and we do have the Pokemon Legends Arceus up for, up for pre-order right now, but that's the only pre-order game that we have listed. What I was thinking about doing, and I'm only going to do this if we have, you know, a lot of interest in it, but every time that we order factory sealed games, we can get PS2, you know, PS1, PSP, Nintendo DS, 3DS, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch, whatever. We can get all this kind of stuff. And what I was thinking is instead of us making a giant order and then selling what, whatever we sell, I was thinking instead of maybe putting together some sort of maybe like a spreadsheet almost that I can provide to you guys that has titles listed and then the price that we would sell them for. And we could do like pre-orders kind of that way. Um, it would make it a lot easier for us to get the actual quantity that people want because usually... We only get a few copies of each game and then they sell out and we have people being like, oh man, I missed that one. And it's like, well, the wholesale prices are kind of expensive, so we can't justify trying to buy a ton of extra copies of everything. So if I think we're only going to sell two or three of them, I only want to buy two or three because if we're, you know, if, if one of them never sells, we might as well not make profit on any of them because the wholesale prices are kind of high on games. That's just how it is. But if we can put together some sort of spreadsheet or something and kind of get interest in, you know, see what kind of interest we have. And then before officially placing the order, I could put the games up for pre-order on the website and then you guys can go and place your orders there. And then we will immediately place the order from our distributor and then get the stuff and ship it out. And the reason that I'm thinking about doing the spreadsheet before just putting the games on the website is because they have tens of thousands of different games in stock and I don't want to have to create listings for everything. So what I would do instead is I'd probably pick like a list of the ones that I think would be more popular, see which ones have interest there, and then only list the ones that people actually have selected. Um, because, you know, I might think that Metroid Dread might be a really popular Switch game, but at this point, I feel like the majority of people that wanted it have it, and so I'm not going to order 15 copies. We do have two of them coming that, I, that I'm putting on this order, um, but, you know, if I put that on the spreadsheet and, like, one person says that they need one, I probably will not order it, but if I put a game like Devil Summoner 2 on there and we get 11 people that say they want it, 
then we can, you know, then we can make a listing for that on the, on the website and take pre-orders that way. So, um, just let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in. Every time we get factory sealed games, we sell a ton of them really, really quickly. And there's quite a few of you guys watching that will order, you know, 10 plus games at one time. So, um, there's obviously interest in the factory sealed stuff, but it's just so expensive for us that I can't justify buying everything in one big bundle like that. So just let me know. I can put that together pretty quickly and, uh, give, you know, give the titles and the prices and everything. And we can just go from there. So, um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here because I've already filmed my eBay stuff. We're going to try to get the rest of those games. You can probably see them stacked up right there. PS3 games. Try to get those into the system before we head home. And then uh, some of that stuff will be available, like I said, by the time you see this video. So PS3 and Vita is what we brought. That's what's going in the system tonight. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to work on next. Sam did end up picking out some games from my collection that he was interested in purchasing, and we have made a deal. He didn't get a ton of stuff, but he got some really good quality. He picked out a handful of Genesis games, one Turbo Graphics game, and then I think maybe like a couple Sega CD or Saturn games. Um, it wasn't a ton. Mostly what he ended up grabbing was Genesis, but we have some really good stuff that we're going to be bringing in, so definitely keep an eye on the vlogs if that's stuff that you're looking for, and just keep looking at our website because um, obviously the videos go up a day late, so if I bring, you know, if I brought my Turbo Graphics stuff tomorrow and put it in the system, it would be available for sale basically all day until the next day when you see the video. So if you are looking for some of that stuff, just make sure you're checking the website because um, we're getting, you know, we get new stuff every day anyway, but um, I can't let you know a day in advance what I'm putting in because I don't have plans. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow.